in the 1920s there was Weston Price, mm. and he looked at different tribes, remote tribes. They didn't have a word for cancer, they didn't have a word for tooth decay, they didn't have a word for gum disease, because it was just not in existence. Mm. And they had these wide, these broad smiles and jaws. So why is that? And that brings us to our civilized food and diet with a lot of sugar. Yeah. So if, if those people are introduced to our diet within one, two generations, the jaws shrink, tooth decay sets in and gum disease. And they can re reverse it again. However, we can see how quickly that evolves. So it's very important that we look what we eat, what we drink, and that parents are informed about that so that they can do the very best to help their kids. Do you see sugar as the kind of main problem cause that we've had in our society for dentistry? Well, it's, it's the sugar in a way that it causes a lot of acidity. And it's, it's a big issue that you have sugar everywhere. Mm. It's also because a lot of parents haven't got the time, so they make ready meals. So we're, we're living and having food that's more close to factory than to nature. Yeah. And that makes a big difference. The quality of the food, you can have meat and you can have meat. So grass-fed, grass-finished meat is a totally different story than a factory meat.